Hello everyone, Amanda Williams, MD, MPH, and I am here with you today to talk about a brand new product that we have available for you. And this is our Resveratrol Max HX. And this particular product is so incredibly amazing. Brought to us, of course, by our wonderful scientific director, Jerry Hickey. He is a master at creating these amazing, powerful, potent formulations. And he certainly did not fail when it came to the Resveratrol Max HX. Let me explain this product to you. This is a power punching amount of trans resveratrol. And the reason why this is so important is because when we go back in time and we look at when the resveratrol kind of first came out many decades ago and it was looked at and touted as being this wonder nutrient for anti-aging, we recognized how many other things it was doing. And the initial studies utilizing trans resveratrol, this is the really powerful active constituent that is derived from the resveratrol itself, they found that roughly around 20 milligrams was the amount that would be needed in order to really support the body when it came to activation of sirtuin, for example. And sirtuin is known, has a known link, sirtuin 1 in particular, has this known link in terms of having this longevity promoting ability and part of that reason is we look at the end caps of our chromosomes so the the telomeres so they they recognized that resveratrol did a really great job at targeting the sirtuin activation so that in and of itself was really cool but they they said okay you need 20 milligrams to really potentiate these anti-aging benefits this particular product has 200 milligrams of trans resveratrol this is incredibly, incredibly strong. And why is this important? Because when we look at resveratrol and all of the numerous amounts of clinical research that is out there now on resveratrol, we see across the spectrum how beneficial resveratrol can be for the human body, which is why there are probably big companies out there trying to replicate nature's resveratrol in a synthetic form. And when I say big companies, I'm talking about pharmaceutical companies. They have been trying to figure out how to synthesize resveratrol so they can push it out as a drug because they now realize all of the many different benefits. As a matter of fact, just last year, University of Buffalo, they published their findings in it was also backed by the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. And they were looking at what resveratrol was actually doing in the setting of people who have depression and anxiety, which is really kind of a remarkable way to, to look at resveratrol, because like I said, initially it was always, okay, anti-aging. But this was really kind of a, a cool study because we know that there's about 20 million Americans that suffer from clinical depression, another 40 million Americans that suffer from anxiety to some degree. And that's just diagnosed. We certainly know that there are many more than that who are not diagnosed as having anxiety or even depression for that matter. But what was interesting in this particular study out at the University of Buffalo is they were looking at the mechanism by which the trans resveratrol was actually potentiating a benefit when it came to mood disorders such as depression as well as anxiety. And what they were able to hone in on was a particular component known as PDE4, which is phosphodiesterase 4. And we know that phosphodiesterase 4 is certainly linked when we have elevated cortisol. So if someone is having some adrenal issues that is brought on because of low mood, then we can link PDE4 elevations to this. And this is where we get a lot of the neurotoxicity, one would say, that can occur within the brain. So they were able to determine from their research that resveratrol actually had the ability to inhibit PDE4, which I think is really so incredibly cool. Now we already know that it's working in terms of that sirtuin activation for the longevity, but we also know that it's working and targeting things like NF-kappa beta for inflammation, which is why it has been so touted in the realm of cardiovascular disease. So we can kind of go back to 
the beginning with resveratrol and the French paradox when they would look and say, well, why is it that people in France seem to have a greater level of cardiovascular protection comparative to people, say, in the United States? And one of the areas that they were able to designate as having this protective um, component was their intake of resveratrol coming from things such as wine. So this is why resveratrol has really had such a push when it comes to human health research because across the board when it comes to brain health when it comes to respiratory health because of the fact that it not only is a very very powerful antioxidant so for targeting things like free radicals and reactive oxygen species in the body we also realize that the resveratrol can do so many other things and so it is a power power nutrient antioxidant that is coming from nature. So we look at um, studies with brain health, as I mentioned, cardiovascular health, certainly for targeting things like elevated cholesterol. And we also see it in metabolic disorders, that it can actually help to benefit and balance healthy blood glucose levels. So in that, you can kind of look at the component with the adrenals. So we know if we have elevations in cortisol, that can impact our insulin and lead to greater insulin resistance. So there's so many ways in which resveratrol really packs a power punch for our cells, so at the cellular level. So even if you're using it, let's just say for that anti-aging property, remember the initial studies decades ago showed that 20 milligrams was the amount that one would want to be utilizing. Our resveratrol max HX has 200 milligrams in one capsule. These are liquid fill capsules and it's not just resveratrol. You're also yielding the benefit of grapeseed extract, which we know has a high amount of those OPCs, those oligomeric proanthocyanidins, so very, very powerful flavonoids in that. We also see in this product quercetin, this is one of my faves because quercetin is a powerful bioflavonoid and it has been studied in the setting of respiratory health. It's also been studied in the setting of natural cellular detoxification, which is really, really important. They've done many studies looking at how beneficial that the quercetin can be when the body is inundated with organophosphates, for example, which we know come from different pesticides. So we are always exposed to these harmful chemicals, you know, whether it's the food that we're eating, the air that we're breathing. So with taking the resveratrol max HX, you're getting the power OPCs from the grape seed. You're getting that quercetin that does so much at that cellular level. When we look at respiratory health, sinus health, all of the ways in which we know these nutrients can work synergistically together to really optimize our overall health. So I am super excited about this. You probably can already see that that is the case because resveratrol to me is kind of the big dog when it comes to nutrients and the fact that we have this highly potent, very powerful formulation available for you is very, very exciting. So I certainly encourage you to go to our website and check it out. It's our Resveratrol Max HX. Great product, brand new, and it can do so much to optimize your overall health and wellness. Now I will be back with you in a few more days to talk about more wonderful nutrients available at Invite Health. Thank you.